This is the high density espalier gardener and these are my pomegranates. I have three pomegranates and this is an update to show you know, what uh, the status is of the pomegranates, how they have grown out, show how I'm espaliering them uh, against the wires and um, as the shoots are starting to come out it's easy to see still how everything is growing up against the wires and for example here I'm letting this one grow out to there and then I cut it off the same with the branches above it <coughs> excuse me I have a branch coming from this one all the way across it has now reached this side so uh, we'll be cutting that off there <clears throat> and I will be doing the same for each of these this on the left hand side is my red wonderful it has several branches growing along the wires now in the middle I have my Utah sweet which is also starting to grow out and you can tell here that this branch has come out and has grown all the way up to this point and this branch here is growing out all the way across and is up to this point so it's not a very fast process but uh, you know with patience and with um, pruning you can get the trees to grow in any shape that you want I just happen to be growing the majority of mine in the cordon um, style meaning straight across from the main trunk <clears throat> excuse me so here is my Utah sweet and on the right that was in the middle on the right I have an orange marmalade pomegranate tree <clears throat> I had a lot of pomegranates last year from the Red Wonderful and the Utah Sweet and <clears throat> excuse me, they were really good, they were delicious. From the um, orange marmalade, I, I didn't have any last year, I'm hoping to have a good amount this year. But uh, even on this one, I have... Uh, branches are already starting to go out. This one is growing all along here and up to this point. And here I have a branch coming all the way up to this point. And starting off new branches to the sides going this way and this way. <clears throat> uh, it looks like I missed a branch here. I will be training this one to come across also. The whole idea is just to make sure that everything is growing in, in uh, two dimensions and forcing it to focus on fruit production, not so much on producing big beautiful trees or bushes or whatever the fruit happens to be growing on. The focus is on the fruit. And I, I got proof of that last year with the pomegranates on the Utah Sweet. I had something like 20 um, pomegranates. And on the Red Wonderful, I had 15. Um, and hopefully we'll have a, a good amount this year. As the blooms start coming out and, and pomegranates start to form, I'll post another update to show just how it's going. If you have any questions or comments, please post them and I'll answer them as soon as I can.